Hello everyone, welcome back to that Catholic Gamer Dude Plays Game Dev Tycoon. We are, woo, rank one with Complete War 2 Conquest of Tripoli. 100k in sales, that's the first week too. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Let's see, train. We're gonna do a, he's our tech specialist. So we want to do tech. Don't want to blow our train our budget on training. Uh, too much. We just got word that complete conquest that complete war two conquest of Tripoli was recently released by Shovelware Inc. has racked up over one million in sales. Sweet train. Gonna do um. What is he, what's he gonna be? He is going to be. He's winning on tech. I guess we'll try to push him into design a little bit more. Train, design, dialogues. He could be our dialogue specialist. He needs just a little more tech. And actually, he needs a lot of design. So just keep pumping up that design. And train you up too. You are an all arounder. Uh, you can be our world design specialist, I think, as long as you get a bit more design. So, let's go ahead and do that. And then you are going to be one of our tech speci tech-ish specialists, I guess that'd be the way to play do it. And then for myself, do a training, because it's been a while. And... Let's see, I'm pretty well rounded. So um You know what? I could be a graphic specialist. I just need a few more points in both. Let's do that. Tech. That'd be kind of ironic. Uh while I start playing Complete War Conquest Triple A, no deal was it for the attention detail of core gameplay really paid off. Complete War Conquest Triple A really deserves top spot in the charts. Rolling key in of smash. Hope you all enjoy that training that I paid a fantastic amount of money for. No, I'm not bitter. Caesar train. You can be a tech specialist with a hundred wow, a hundred research points. Whew. Uh tech specialist. Five million. That is a lot of dough. Are you guys about to go on vacation and hose me? Uh, I can't remember now. Um, let's... What can we do in the research department? Uh, there's a lot there. Unfortunately, I have a feeling that even if I were to research it, I couldn't finish it out without some specialists. So, we're going to develop yet another sequel. Uh, Medieval Strategy, Medal of Valor, the third of them, Crimson Skies, Star Discipline. Let's do sci-fi strategy. It's been a while. Pick a platform. Do a PC. There's a strategy game. Pick the engine. Frosty Bit 2. And we're going to call... This is a sequel to Star Discipline. Star... Uh, Star... Discipline 2. Um, um, let's see. What do we want to call this? Um, arms of... Majesty. Why not? I don't know. I'm just funding it at this point. I don't even know what I'm trying to parody anymore. In two months, the inbox will be taken off the market. Who cares? In two months, the game series will be taken off the market. <gasps> Today, Nintendo has announced their bid for the next generation console by announcing the new. Instead of trying to compete with Microsoft and Vani on hardware strength and graphical power, Nintendo has decided to deliver a truly unique gaming experience. The new features a controller with built-in motion sensor, which allows players to stand in front of their TV and use a controller as a counterpart to virtual objects such as a tennis racket. First play testers are seen with huge grins on their faces. It seems to be a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Uh, the only downside is, is that for motion controls, basically every company's motion controls were different. And so what ended up happening was, is that nobody could actually, um, you can't do cross-platform stuff with that. So that's why motion controls are still kind of a joke. Um, even to this day, even though they, they actually have improved pretty well. I like uh, my Wii, especially with the, uh, that gyroscope that I can't remember what their branding name is for, but um, it was pretty good. I may be the only person on the planet who actually liked uh, Legends of Zelda um, Skyward Sword and its motion controls. Let's see. Enough with the blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Pull press. 
you get on that. Gameplay engine, that looks all right. And the hype train is already starting. We're at year 19. I have 15 years. It seems that the market responded particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. Well, we're the opposite of that. Let's see. We've got 34 bugs in there already. But, look at all them numbers flying up, huh? Okay. Uh, Sci-fi strategy. Artificial intelligence. Level design. Um... Put myself in that mix. Uh, I'll wait till the world stuff comes up. Jeanette's actually starting to come along. Her the training that we pumped hundreds of thousands of dollars into is starting to pay off. Um, hmm. I think Trenton Trenton can actually put together a pretty good balance of the AI stuff. Is Caesar? Yeah, Caesar's gonna be working too hard if I do that. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do a marketing campaign. We're gonna do a large campaign because we're a large company and that's what we do. Actually, we're only six developers pump cranking this stuff out. Mbox no longer supported. You released two games for platform for 44.7 million. The Mbox has treated us well. And Jeanette, oh, all of you guys need to go on vacation. Uh. Conquest Tripoli sold 3.1 units, generating 43 million. How crazy is that? Okay. Well, we are I have 94 million in the bank. Uh, Jerry, you go ahead and take care of that. Um. Uh, dude, for me, do the graphics. It's not that important. Funny enough, I want to become my company's graphics specialist. So that's kind of laugh it, laughable. <laughs> uh, uh. Alright. So, is that good? Graphics, sound, Jonah's on sound. Sure, why not? Let's get this sucker out the door. One more marketing push. And then we'll send everybody on vacation. All right, here we go. Look at that hype train. 120. 112 bugs. We do more of everything, including the bugs. Boss, we're exhausted. Here you go. Nope. You gotta push this sucker out the door. You gotta do it. Today, the new game platform, New, by Ninvento, has been released. All right, and then... And blip, 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 Little last minute polishing there. And... Oh, no, no, no. Get that bug out of there. Okay, good. All right. New records on both. Yay! Good management. Dialogues. Really start need to start specializing some of these guys. Student increases salary, etc. New research, advanced body language. Everybody, go on vacation. My first review came in. It is a nine. Strategy games work well on the PC. I would hope so. Uh, love it. Informed gamer. It is a the focus on artificial intelligence serves this game very well, and is very good. All games, yeah, not bad at all. Send on vacation. Send on vacation. You generate a game report. I'm gonna do some research to multi-genre. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Mini games, dynamic environment, voiceover symbol. Multi-platform, I don't think I've ever done multi-platform before. Let's go ahead and do that stat. I'm very curious. Rank 17, two million in sales, that's pretty cool. Um, make and bank on that. Shell Wars recently is a sequel to the game Star Discipline, Star Discipline 2, Arms of Majesty. There you go. And let's see. Everybody's back now. We just got in that uh, 500k in sales. And to come back, we'll release yet another game. Uh, Discipline 2 sounds to be quite important for this type of game. Artificial intelligence seems to be quite important. Topic audience match, sci fi mature, great. Sure. Okay, custom in uh, virtual academy. Uh, gosh, so close. 
Let me develop a new game real quick. Wow. Let's pick a platform. Uh, let's do a PC platform and then pick another platform. Uh, let's get Mbox. And then let's do Play System 2. That's fascinating. 4.6 million. That is something else. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. We want to do a medieval uh, adventure. Do E for everyone. Pick a game engine, the frosty version V2. I'm going to call this uh, Knights of the Square. Squared Circle. Because logic is not one of my strong suits. Alright. I think this might be a disaster. No, actually we're starting already. Large booth. Uh, sure, why not? We should be right in the middle of that development when it comes out. Uh, advanced cutscenes, basic physics, medieval adventure, stories and quests. Uh, the adventure. Uh, 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 oh gosh. Okay. 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 Slow down. Slow down. Medieval adventure engine. I don't think is as important. Uh, let's do the mod support. Let's uh, let's get rid of save to cloud. Save game definitely. Gameplay, stories and quests, branching story. Um, yeah, I get that. And then Caesar is gonna get that. Okay. And then, stories and quests, gameplay. I like that spread. I don't like the fact that we're only 85% of the engine, but what can you do? We're just gonna start the Splint 2. Arms of Majesty was received and racked up over 1 million in sales. This is gonna be interesting. It seems the market is normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. All right, today Vanya announced a su successor to massively successful Play System 2, the Play System 3. The console also doubles as a player for Blu-ray, which Vanya hopes will be successful in the DVD format. All this power comes from the heavy price tag, making Play System 3 the most expensive console ever. We say that consumers will react given to this low-cost alternatives, but we're considering the massive success of Play System 2. Vanya can be hopeful. The console is expected to ship out in the coming months. It's funny because how that history works out is that it went from being the uh, the loser at least initially in the console wars and then at the end of this recent generation it actually ended up coming out ahead so it was pretty cool we had almost a million people we were voted number one boot this year sweet congratulations the hype oh the hype the delicious hype uh andrea mcgarrett for game informant they want to know what's your expectation let's be modest thank you for your time this is an experimental piece bosses showed all the credit card information use it unfortunately we have lost a lot of things the past three months. Uh, what? I'm not sure I followed that at all. Guess that was a, a credit card fraud or something. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna. This is gonna be a bit of a bomb. Uh, dialogues. Uh, level design, artificial intelligence. And uh, not as much. Uh, Jonah Murphy. Uh, you know what? I think. I think that will work. Let's go ahead with that. Ah, oh, Caesar. You can't be tired in the middle of a project. We need you, man. This hype train is going to be something else, but I don't think it's going to work out all that much. Uh, given the bubbles being a bit of an issue. But still, it was a good first stab at it. I think this um, somewhat of a disappointment is going to be the next game that we, uh, or the last game that we release for this video. Off the market, it sold 1.3 units, generating 20 million in sales. Let's see. Getting with the bubbles, getting with the bubbles. Actually, it's doing better than I thought it would. Graphics are very important with that, so we're going to put Trenton on that. We're going to give Jerry a... Uh, going to put Paul Press on there. You know what, Paul? You're just going to have to suffer. Uh, there's nothing I can do for you. Is there? Nope. Uh, no, I'll suffer because I'm that cool. 
I, it's, I do what I do for my team, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> 92% sound? Uh, sure. I'll take that on. Overworked myself just a little bit. But, what can you do? And Caesar's been, is like, really fatigued. So, dude needs a break, apparently. Some call Bizarre Show of Arrogance funny. Representatives from trash talking Microsoft's M successful Mbox 360 will praising their own upcoming Play System 3 in the lead up to the launch later this month. I expect the usually high price tag high ranking company replied, People will work more hours to buy one. We want people to feel that they want it more than anything else. We're not sure the players will really want it so badly, as so far no major game titles have been announced for the Play System 3. That was the other big problem with it, is, is that it ended up winning the exclusive war as well, but it took a long time to get there. There we go. So that's the nice thing about this game is that the designers really knew this stuff. Today, the new game platform, Play System 3 by Vani, has been released. We'll let them languish for a little bit before uh, get into that mess. So yeah, so as you can see, we're probably not going to make any new records on that. That hype, oh my goodness, that thing is just building like crazy. I don't think we had to do any marketing. Get those bugs, get those bugs, get those bugs. Gotta get the bugs out. Gotta get the bugs out. It's a lot of bugs, but it's true. The more comp... I mean, it's just... That's how it works. The more complicated the system, the more bugs are gonna be there. I like how there's, like, zero. That's that's the bugs that they know about. Let me tell you something. Uh, there are no systems out there that don't have bugs in them. It's just cute. I like it. New record. Oh, okay, we did do a record in graphics. Good for us. 3D level design. Yeah, release the game. The salary increases. More people cost me more money. Special training available. Interactive story, moral choices. Hmm. <laughs> the first review is new Levis game. Knights of the Squared Circle came in. It is... Not bad, says Star Games. It is... I like it, says Inform Gamer. Beautiful game hero. You need to give it a seven. What's up with that? Love it. All games. Oh, I don't love it. Metacritic is gonna eat that seven up. Um, let's see. Stories and quest seven twenty and eighty. Uh, Jerry. Yeah, I guess Jerry can specialize in that. And but, 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 but. anyways, you know what? We're gonna end it here. Uh, that's it for this, uh, video. Uh, actually, you know what? No. Let's wait. Let's see. How does this do? And it is, uh, three. Rank nine. All right. That works for me. Thank you very much for joining me. That's been the Catholic Gamer Dude playing Game Dev Tycoon, and I will see you next time.